Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Pump. Today is one of those days which uh, they're fun to experience, but it's a little bit tough because you really want to get the information out as best as you can and kind of uh, temper some expectations, we would say. So, of course, if uh, you haven't done so already, I'm sure that would be uh, a little bit uh, ridiculous. Uh, we've having quite a pump day, and it's a great day. I mean, I love these days. These are great. Everybody's excited. Everybody's happy. Bull run, baby. All right. Everything's going great. And... Uh, it is, it is good times, right? I mean, Bitcoin's up, and this is crazy, another 5% today. In seven days, it's almost 15%. I mean, you know all these numbers. And there's some that have really outshined. Look at Avalanche, 10%. I mean, that's in a day, in one day. These are the kind of vibes that you get. Holy smokes, near. These are the kind of vibes you get when, like, when we're like heavy into uh, the bull market. Usually, it doesn't, doesn't, uh, we don't have kind of days like this before a halving. But, uh, you know, hey, this is only this is only my second having I've been through. I've been through uh, 2017, the bull run. So I missed the 2016 having, but went through 2020 and I'm about to experience the one in 2024. But it's uh, been uh, one of those days. And even me, I've been in this game for quite some time. Even me, I feel the pressure. I feel the same pressure you feel. And I asked the question today, I go, hey, uh, anybody else feel FOMO? And uh, I got <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Many a people out there are feeling that FOMO, except for FD White. He's real cool, calm, and collective. He's like, nah, maybe the 50s. But uh, for the majority of people out there, <laughs> it, is, it is quite a feeling of like, hey, I didn't do enough. Hey, I didn't do this. Hey, I should have done that. And I'm here to tell you something. Uh, you didn't miss anything. You didn't miss the boat. You didn't miss the big plays. There's a lot of runway left before us. I'm going to show you some things about just how much we have. So thing I want you to remember is this, is that today are great days. And we see these, these days and we see just how much everything is pumping, everything looks great. But just remember that even in, when we get into the, the, the precipice or the, the height, the crescendo of the actual uh, bull runs that we're going to see, you're going to see that things are going to move pretty quickly and drastically, but you'll still also have these pullbacks, or pullbacks which is normal. So today is one of those days where I think that, yeah, maybe in a couple of days we get a pullback. Maybe we don't. Maybe things just keep going up forever. <laughs> it's, it's crypto. Nobody really knows. But historically, it doesn't really work like that. And uh, these days that you see everything, just relax. You got a lot of opportunities. And I want to bring it back down memory lane. This is my favorite tool to kind of get everybody on the same page, just to relax a little bit. And this is uh, on Ben's site, uh, Into the Cryptoverse. And... The whole narrative that we try to do, and it all depends on what you want to do. And I can't tell you what to do, obviously, right? Some people are here for massive amount of gains. So they want to take a lot of risk. And some people like me are like, I don't want to take that much risk because, you know, I follow the rules, which is don't invest more than you can afford to lose, meaning it's all gone. Everything's a scam until pre otherwise. Try to take everything off exchanges. Um, don't use leverage and take profits along the way. And some people are ultra conservative and like, hey, I just want to get, you know, I just want to, I am in a risky asset class, so I'm just going to do Bitcoin and that's it, which is not a bad plan. But if you're looking at it, I know you're going to feel it because I feel it. You look at these, at these different projects that are coming out. One of the things you want to do is take a look at projects that are new. And we've done this historically look at, where we've taken a look at uh, this, the all-time highs or the top 53 cryptos in 2017 and compare them to 2021 in the top 53. And only you only had 11 out of 53 hit their all-time highs. What does that tell you? That tells you that in every single four-year cycle, there's going to be some bigger winners because the ones that are in there shouldn't have been in there in the first place. So the narrative you might want to take a look at might are some of the new ones. And when people are saying, but Rob, I missed it already. I missed it already. You haven't missed squat. Yeah, there's been some pretty great gains. And we're, we're going to talk about that. But some of these things that uh, you'll see right now are pretty impressive. So what I'm going to do is just, just how we take a look at four-year cycles. If you compare 2023, this is a pre-halving year because the next year in 2024 will be a halving. In 2019, it was a pre-halving year. And the halving was in 2020. What I'm going to show you, I'm not going to do that. Let's just go to the beginning of 2020, just the beginning of 2020. Now you would have had more gains if you would have invested into the pre-having year. You would have, but let's just, I'm just gonna show you something. January 1st, 2020, 
And let's end it on something simple, like the month of the having. Let's just do that. Ba, 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 ba. May. I think it was like May 12th or May 13th was the having. Correct me in the comment section. Let's just go May 31st. Whoops, that's 2021. I don't want that. And I want that, 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 that. There. Thank you. Ah, whatever. January 1st, 2020. Thank you. Still doesn't do it right. Doesn't matter. So let's just let's just come a look over here. Let's say that we started on the having year, which for us won't start on 2024. And we went to these different projects. And remember, Solana was nothing, was nothing back in the day. Nobody knew about that. Nobody cared about Solana. Just something that was just in the background. I mean, we had good good credence and a lot of different good things were being talked about, but no one really thought it would go that well. Cardano was a joke. Cardano was a joke. Car Car Cardano was, as they called it, uh, the third evolution of blockchain. No one really believed in that stuff. Chainlink, Oracles, they didn't need that stuff. And Polygon, a layer two solution? For what? The gas fees in Ethereum wasn't that, weren't that high back in the day. And that's it. Let's just take a look at those. So if we went from that, we just put 10 bucks a day. Nothing to break the bank, 10 bucks a day. You know, I think some people, some people could afford 10 bucks a day. If we just went all the way to like first, Jesus, five months, just five months, right? You'd be up 30%, just doing nothing, really. And that's moving things forward. And then as we go into the next evolution of the next run, look at these, look at these prices. Look at what you could do. And of course, in 2019, you would have thought, hey, I already missed it because everything's pumping. And then, of course, look where you're at now today. I, I, that's, that's ridiculous prices. Come on. Let's say this. All right. Doge. Doge was also a joke. 48,000. Although Doge has been, Doge has been around for, for quite some time. So just, let's just strike that out of the way. Cardano, 47,000. And you invested 1,500 bucks. Matic, 34,000. You invested $1,500. Solana, 23,000. You get my drift? So like these things, it's all about finding the next evolution and the next plays and they don't have to be like the greatest plays of all time but what is the narrative out there me personally i believe that the next narrative is going to be ai decentralized exchanges and web3 gaming and i said that ad nauseum quite honestly and because of that i've gotten people that were smarter than me uh, to come in and talk and one of those was uh, i had kagi in and uh, his plays last time was ronin alluvium immutable x game swift avagachi and besides Avagachi, which kind of was kind of stagnant, only went up like six or seven percent, which is still pretty good. Rowan and Louie, Mutable X, Game Swift, I mean, they did like 150 percent, 250 percent, something crazy like that. I just had him on yesterday and we talked and he gave me some updated information. So I will release that video uh, tomorrow. And uh, hopefully at that time, everything will kind of you know, smolder down, just relax just a little bit. But uh, these are the things that maybe you could look into and go, hmm. Maybe I should look into that and maybe do a little bit more research and uh, go for it. Also, if you're looking for like super in-depth stuff, a uh, guy just dropped his uh, new Coin Bureau Club. And uh, he's been talking about things I honestly never really heard of. Like, I don't know what that is. Ganolan, Deso. What's the next one? Metis? I don't know what that is. Rollbit, kind of. Like, I don't know this stuff, honestly. And uh, he talks about his portfolio. And then what was interesting to me was they give their portfolio for all the members of the Coin Bureau. And the head of research, uh, his portfolio, 90% of the things he, that he has in there, I have never heard of in my life. Never. So you can find a description of that. Join up for uh, that premium club. It is a premium. It's not an affiliate link. I don't get paid for it. But uh, it's, uh, I mean, those guys do a lot of research. So that's that. But for me personally, I like Bitcoin. I like investing in Bitcoin. It's very simple. Over the years, I've done stupid things. I have left things on exchanges. I have gotten into some uh, super sketchy type of, uh, of, of altcoins. And some of these coins were actually decent 
And then of course, along the way, they're like, oh, we're, we're upgrading the platform and, and we're, we're swapping over to this. So if you don't do it by this day, you're gonna lose everything. I've lost everything. That doesn't happen with Bitcoin. It doesn't. The worst that could happen is you could, the worst that could happen with Bitcoin is you could, uh, like in 2017, you could have missed out on the, on the hard fork between Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. That's pretty much it. They're not gonna do anything. So like with Bitcoin, for me, it makes sense. That's why it's 75% of my portfolio. However, me looking down the pipe and going, what's the narrative? Well, the narrative right now, of course, is the ETF. And the ETF, if you listen to the experts, and there's no shortage of those guys and gals. They're telling you 99% of it, it's going to be approved. I personally would like to see it, and, uh, and I hope it actually works out. But I, I don't really think it matters because the narrative is there with BlackRock. But the ecosystem, think about that. The ecosystem that is Bitcoin. If you got Bitcoin, and we know even Gary says it's not a security, then maybe we'd look into the ecosystem that is Bitcoin. And one of those would be ordinals or already. I don't know if you heard about this, but this one has gone gangbusters. Number 54, these are ordinals. This is just one of them. This is so you can write in transcriptions and do NFTs essentially on the Bitcoin blockchain. That's essentially what it is. And today it's up 32%, but over 30 days, it's up 742%. Not too bad because it just launched recently. So I know people say, I missed the boat on this one. Yeah, not really. It could be something that you could look into. What you got to do, though, is it's a little bit different. I'm not telling you to invest in this. I'm just saying that uh, it'd be something that I would definitely look into. And uh, to actually to buy it and the exchanges, you can find that on CoinGecko, but you have to store it in Ordinal's wallet. And you can find the link in the description for that. Again, nobody paid me for that. Don't ask in the comments. And then also, stacks. Uh, I like this one. I was investing a while ago. We've all known this. It's uh, essentially a smart contract uh, built on the Bitcoin blockchain as well. And Stacks, another one, did pretty good. I think it was up 10% at the height in 24 hours. And in 30 days, it's up 77%. Not too bad. So these are the things that if you're like, I don't know about gaming. I don't know about DEXs. I don't know about the AI. Maybe you just look at something that's in the Bitcoin ecosystem and kind of go from there because Bitcoin is essentially what a lot of the institutional players are getting into. And if they're going to get into Bitcoin as far as an ETF, when it's stand a reason that maybe they get into that ecosystem, what could be ordinals and could be stacks and whatever else is out there. I'm just saying. That's it for today. I just wanted to bring this to your attention as a quick little video that's saying that, yes, I know you feel like this is it and it's going to be like the end all be all and tomorrow everything's going to go to a million dollars per coin. It doesn't work like that. It's just investing. Take your time. You're going to be all right. You didn't miss anything. That's it. So look, like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I'm going to talk about it. It's time sensitive now.